Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. To write a check in QuickBooks Online Plus, click the Create button and then click the Check link under the Vendors heading in the drop-down menu to open a check window. Use the Choose a Payee drop-down in the upper left corner of this window to select the name of the person to pay. This person can be either a vendor, customer, or employee. You can also select the Add New Choice from the drop-down menu to quickly add a new name and select the type of person. Use the next drop-down to the right to select the account from which the funds will be withdrawn. The balance of the selected account appears to the right of that drop-down. The mailing address field shows the address of the selected payee. If you chose to add new or didn't enter the payee's address, you can manually enter one here. Use the Payment Date field to enter the check's date. At the right side of the screen is a Check Number field and a Print Later checkbox. Checking the Print Later checkbox lets you print the check after saving it. If you are using this window to record a handwritten check, uncheck the Print Later checkbox and then enter the number of the check you wrote into the Check Number field. You must then enter at least one line item into the Account Details or Item Details sections below. You can click the black arrows next to the names of either section to collapse and expand them within this form if needed. For amounts that don't involve items from your products and services list, then use the account details section. This section lets you attribute amounts to accounts like an expense account for example. Simply click into the account column in the first row of this section and select the account. Then enter the amount into the amount column. You can enter the values into the other columns if needed. You can also split the entire check amount to multiple accounts if needed by simply repeating this process again on the next line in this section for another account. For amounts related to products and or services in your products and services list, use the item details section instead. Here you can click into the first row under the product service column and select the product or service you are buying. Then enter the quantity, rate and amount for that item into the quantity, rate, and amount fields. You can also enter the other column values if needed. Repeat this process until you've added all of the products or services to purchase. To enter information that appears in the lower left corner of printed checks, type it into the memo field. To attach files to this check, use the attachments field. The toolbar at the bottom of this window contains the buttons used to manage the check. When creating a new check, they are cancel, Clear, Print Check, Order Checks, Make Recurring, More, and a drop-down button with the Save and New and Save and Close commands. To cancel the check, click the Cancel button. To clear the check window, click the Clear button. To print the check, which also saves the check, click the Print Check button. The first time you click this button, QuickBooks Online asks you questions about how you print your checks and what types of checks you use. Answer all the questions posed to let QuickBooks Online help you configure your check for printing. To purchase blank checks from Intuit, click the Order Checks link to open a store web page. To create a recurring check, click the Make Recurring link to open a window where you can create a recurring check and set its recurrence interval and its duration. This is helpful for entering regularly scheduled checks to the same person or company. To perform other check options, Click the More button to show a pop-up menu of check options. For new checks, the only option is Void. If you open a saved check, however, you will see other options appear in this pop-up menu, like Copy, Void, Delete, Transaction Journal, and Audit History. You can select the associated commands you want to perform. To save the check and then either close the check window or create another new check, click the Save and New and or Save and Close drop-down button. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.